I want to show you this little trick I found on the internet today. I want to do jelly printing with my kids, but I don't have enough jelly plates for everybody, and I don't really want to make them, and they're going to ruin them anyway because they've never done this before. So I um, am working on a flexible foam instead of the jelly plate. And it's a little squishy. It's a good size. It's cheap as heck because it was all donated. So I'm adding a little tempera paint, cheap tempera, to the plate and smoothing it on with a brush. I don't want to use brayers because I don't have enough brayers for the kids. And um, just using a sponge. I'm going to texture it a little bit with the sponge. And then I'm going to, um, I don't know, make some circles with the cat. I like circles. They make me happy. And maybe try something with a little... Um, a little rubber stamp. See if I can pull some paint off using the rubber stamp. See what that does. Overlapping. I'm always telling my kids overlap people. Overlap. It's a good technique. And then maybe draw a line with the pencil. Maybe make myself a hill. Oh, maybe I can make a snowman out of one of these little guys. Give him some snowman at night shading. I don't know if this is going to work, people. We'll see. And now I'm going to drop a dry piece of construction paper on top of that, cover it with um, cover it with some scrap paper, and then rub it with the back of a stamp. Like I said, trying to go brayer free here, but I want to give it a little bit more pressure than even pressure than my hands would provide. And I'm going to pull it. And see what happens. Dry paper. There. Want to build a snowman? Snowman print using flexible foam. <laughs>